brownie batter. It's brushing its teeth. See how I'm hooked up here. Look at this contraption. All right. Probably don't want to tool change that. I know. I always hit my head on the dust collection hose. Wah, wah, wah. Going with tool one. Don't go anywhere. Shot me full of dust. Let's jump into Fusion quick. This is a box generator we shared in a previous video. I'll put a card here. I'm going to make a more in-depth video on how to set up a Donek drag knife infusion with this great plugin called Drag Knife that I'll show here in a bit. For now, we're just playing around. Once you make your flat file, we'll go to the manufacturer environment, make a setup. I made a G4 pass through that makes sure and tells me to turn off the spindle and make sure there's no tool changes. You want to choose a 2D contour with any tool. It doesn't matter. Set the compensation type to off. You want to make sure and preserve order and that all of your arrows or your traverse passes are going the same way. And then we also want to make sure our entry points are on a straight and that they end on a straight. From here, you post your normal G code with your normal post processor. Note where you post your file, because you're going to use that file to generate a drag knife G code file. Here we're going to open the drag knife plugin. I'll link to that in the description below. The first step is to select the file you just posted. Then there's a blade offset and a swivel left height that you should get depending on which drag knife you have. And then the tolerance, just leave it 20. Then you can post your file. One more cool little thing I found recently. If you've ever used NC Viewer or ncviewer.com, you can actually get it inside of Fusion now with this cool little plugin. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And then you can just open your G code right there without having to open a web browser. All right, let's head back to the shop. Okay. What do you think? How's this gonna go? Let's run with it. <laughs> eh, it's safe. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. You don't need to warm it up because we don't have the spindle on. Let me jump in here and state the obvious, never run a drag knife with the spindle on. And no, I didn't try it. Because you'd essentially turn that into a projectile if you actually use the spindle. simple. Just be right up here in the front. All right, here goes. First drag knife. I have it set really slow. Yeah, that's real slow. Holy hell. We're not going to run at 30. Sorry. That's now 60. Just lightning fast. Interesting. I don't think I have the settings right, but that's pretty sweet.
tried a few more tweaks and ran a second box. The tool cut's great, however I'd like to clean up the corners and that's just a little calibration as far as I understand. I, did, I don't think I did this right. I need one more flap. <laughs> what a mess. Where did that flap go? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're missing four flaps for some reason. Box. So that was a flop. Um, I should have definitely figured out ahead of time that I didn't have enough flaps, but you know, when you haven't cut a box, you haven't cut a box. So I finally got to try out this Donek drag knife and I really love it. It cut really clean. Um, I don't know where that little circle went, but it cut super clean when I figured out the settings and with a little bit of the way I've got it set up right now, a little bit of uh, trim out and you've got some really nice pieces and you can cut up to a quarter inch with the D2 here. Um, and Donek, Donek Tools actually hooked me up with this one um, and they're gonna do a pretty awesome uh, deal here. They're gonna give 10% off to anybody that uses our promo code. So you can use PDX CNC and um, we'll get a little cut of that and then you guys get 10% off and you can get any other models. So I think they have four different ones. This is this one fits in a half inch collet, um, the D2, and it can cut up to a quarter inch deep. And like I was saying earlier, there's a Fusion plug-in that's, I think it's six bucks, seven dollars or something like that. And it takes your G code that you output, just a 2D contour tool path um, that you use no compensation on and outputs uh, drag knife code. So obviously you don't want the spindle to turn on. So just don't turn the power to your spindle if you have that option. And it just kind of sits in there. You can tool height it the same. Um, it just uses utility blades. So could last forever <laughs> unless you're just cutting endlessly with it, but pretty cheap um, change out there. I'm gonna do a whole video on this, something that's not a vlog, but uh, this is just kind of playing around and me not really doing much, much research at this point. Um, I know a lot of people are using this, these even to cut plastic or leather or you know really anything you can cut with a utility blade. So um, I think that's about it. That's all I have for today. Uh, hopefully that was enjoyable to watch me fail miserably at making a box. Um, yeah, until tomorrow.